it's nothing worse for you to ask your child something and she can't, she struggles to tell you how she feels or what's going on or, you know, any information that she's trying to give you. So he was getting older and it started when he was about, say, between two and a half to three about his speech. I thought he picked it up from a cartoon, so I waited a little bit. I thought he'll come out of it, but as he got older, which was four, I saw that it was actually a problem that he has and that I need to seek outside help for him with his speech. And I came across his start. There are many families out there that may be a little hesitant about getting their child involved in the Head Start program. And it was a grandmother who told me that they're out there. She says that they're afraid, and that's because of maybe the stigma of working with a child who may be slow or different. And we want to let them know that, no, this is the place to come. Head Start from the very beginning has always included children with disabilities. And that would have been before some of the laws that are on the books now. So there was a time when a parent having a child with a disability might not be able to find a preschool that would accept them unless it was a preschool specifically designed for a child with that disability. And when Head Start was put together and brought online in the very beginning, from the beginning, Head Start was mandated to receive children with disabilities to save space for them. Her progressing is something that for me, she needed. I couldn't, I couldn't sit back. I couldn't sit back and not allow my child to have the necessary things that she needs. And that's anything in life, anything. And to just see her smile, you can't replace that. And she smiles now, she's happy. She can, she can tell me things. I wouldn't replace that for me. I mean, my child is everything to me. He always come home. He likes to tell me what he did. I don't have to ask, he just tell me. Mama, guess what we did? Or perhaps like what they ate, or who classroom what he learned. I'm amazed on how much he had learned just for a head start student. His sounds, reading, <laughs> that's a lot. And I'm really, really grateful for the teachers that she's had. I mean, and not only that, but just to walk down this hallway and every somebody knows my child. You know, that, that's an awesome feeling. Every person in this school, hi, Deshae, bye, Deshae. I mean, every student, every teacher, faculty member knows my child. And, and that, to me, I, it's always important to have a rapport, you know, with who's surrounding your child. Because now that makes me feel safe. I know she feels safe, you know. So that, for me, that's what I needed. That's what I wanted for her. For success in life for a child with disabilities, they need to be in a setting where they're with the butcher, the baker, and the candlestick maker, so to speak, because they won't be in school forever. They're gonna be out in the community. So the question is, how do I best prepare my child to get the best education she can get, the best interventions to overcome the disability that they have, and at the same time, prepare them for the day when they're out there in society. One of the models I should tell my uh, colleagues is that it's all about the family. And I think that Head Start is an avenue to address a concern or a part of that element with the family. And so what we try to do is encourage them that, you know, once you start this process, it's a, it's a long journey down the road. We also let parents know that we're not just a dropout point, that parent needs to be involved with their children. 
We don't really work differently with a parent that has a child with a disability. We believe that all children need the same things and all parents need much the same thing. For his speech, I have seen a miraculous change in his speech. He's getting better as far as him stuttering. He doesn't really does it unless he's over excited or happy. That's the only way I have to tell him he has to slow down, breathe, and then he'll take his time to express himself. The best thing that I heard was the Shay has excelled. When I got her IEP and they said she meets all the requirements. Best ever. Best ever. That was the best that was the best part. So for me, that told me that not only did I did my part by signing her in, but I left her in great hands. Urban League. Great hands.